If you think your brain has nothing to do with your pain, then you haven't been reading the science. Who does? Don't worry though, because I've got it all here for you. In a nutshell, the first thing to understand is that your brain decides when you need pain. It decides how much pain you need and how long it should last for. I'm not going to pretend that this is some kind of secret that the medical profession has been keeping from us. It's been well accepted by medical science for decades. The problem has always been, how do we use this in practice? Now, the next thing to know is that persistent pain leads to changes in your brain. That might not surprise you, I don't know. But this will surprise you. These changes actually make your brain more accommodating of pain. Think about that for a moment. Your brain can keep on producing pain for you, sometimes long after it's needed. Like a faulty alarm system that keeps going off even though the danger has passed. People often take medication to change how their bodies feel. Nobody wants pain. Much of this medication works on your brain. So the brain as a target of treatment is actually nothing new. If you have persistent pain, you will either already know that medication isn't very successful for persistent pain. That's because medication doesn't reverse the changes that have resulted from persistent pain. Or you will have had enough of the side effects, which some people say is worse than the pain. Changing your mind about pain then, as the title suggests, will change your brain so it becomes less accommodating and more discerning and robust. This course offers a comprehensive program of psychological treatment. It's presented to you as a person with persistent pain, so you're treated in just the same way as if you were working face to face with a therapist. But unlike working with a therapist, you keep all the sessions. You don't need to remember what was said. You have permanent access to them anytime on tablet, mobile or desktop. The sessions are broken down into two or three minute chunks so they're more accessible and easily digested. You'll receive an accompanying ebook that acts as the transcript but also gives you extra information. You'll receive the equivalent of five one hour treatment sessions for the cost of what you'll probably pay a pain specialist for just one. You receive ongoing support by way of a private Facebook page for peer support, for swapping stories or listening in on others' experiences. You'll also receive ongoing support from me, a specialist pain psychologist. Have a look at the preview videos to see if this is something that will work for you. Remember, these psychological exercises will show you how to use your mind to change your brain and control your pain.